when I told Grant, he literally said, all of our dreams are coming true. knocking over absolutely everything. All right, so I'm in a hotel room, I'm in LA. I came down, I buttoned this thing all wrong. <laughs> My pajamas are a mess right now. Really, everything is an absolute mess right now. You know what, I'm just gonna get myself together before I start talking to you. I'm just gonna kinda like recede into the darkness. <laughs> this is such a cool hotel room. I definitely wanna show you everything, but I'm gonna like get this stuff together real quick, hold on. All right, I got it together. Grant is back from his conference. Like I told you guys last weekend, Grant had a conference here in LA. And I got over here last night to meet up with him. We went out to dinner. We went out to uh, the rooftop up here. This is such a cool hotel. And we're just about to leave and we're gonna drive to Anaheim because we're going to Disneyland. Since he had the conference, we just wanted to make the most of the weekend and work in a little Disneyland trip. You guys know we love Disney. We spent our first anniversary in Disney World and we went to Disney land once when he was here in LA working and I'm excited to go back super excited <laughs> I'm out of breath right now as usual I want to show you the room really quick it's all messed up because we've been in here for the past day or Grant's been here for a few days um, but it's just really cool I really really love the design of really this entire hotel it's in downtown and it's called the standard has like this little platform bed and it reminds me of our bed situation at home right now since we haven't gotten our bed yet. And then the bathroom is just out in the open. <laughs> this morning I woke up, looked to my right, and Grant was taking a shower. <laughs> Definitely very little privacy in this room, but I really, really, really love the design. I just think it looks really cool. And if you guys watch my Instagram story, sometimes I repost interiors, like retro photos of old homes or buildings. You guys probably realize this is like everything to me. I absolutely love it. I love this light fixture. The super graphic on the wall is everything I've ever wanted. Okay, time to go. Looks like we're in business. All right, we made it. And this is our first time seeing the new Disneyland castle with the new colors, and it looks so different. Oh, Grant, you're eating good in the neighborhood. craziest hot dog I think I've ever seen in my life. Took it down like a champ. Is fully regretting it at this point. Took it down. And then right after that we went to Star Tours. There's a quick line and now Grant is looking at pins because Grant's in the pins. Although he does not have a lanyard and he got he got a bunch of pins so we went to Star Wars. They're still in the bag. They're still in the <laughs> paper bag that they put them in. Grant so very committed to the pin <laughs> thing. Very committed to pin training. Well, um, you, gotta, you gotta find a lanyard that speaks to you. I know, we've looked at so many lanyards, so many pins, and he can't find one that he really loves. So obviously the search is continuing and probably never ending, but I think we're about to get like a free lanyard because of like the package we bought for the vacation to get the tickets and stuff. Are we getting in line? Yeah. Okay, and our next ride is gonna be the Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters. And if you watched the Disney World anniversary vlog, Did you might you? remember <laughs> that I was triumphant and I fully, triumphant. fully planned to win again. What you win? <laughs> you did not. You're the game. He was dude. trying so I hard. Did. And I won, like, by a lot. I told I you, think. I told you where to shoot, but you should. No, you did not. You were supposed to shoot that one point where it's the way it's, uh, feet. 
everyone fair and square. I did watch a video that had like tips in it. Of course I did. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I'm admitting it. But I do plan to win again. Hold the crown for another year. You're agreeing? You're going down. It's happening. You're going down. He's definitely the more competitive one, but when I win, I, I'd like to keep it going. I'm the more competitive one? Yes, definitely. Did you pick, Comment below. Did you pick a pin? I got two. Let's change it. Did you not want to get one? I don't know. We'll keep looking. Wait, right, show them to me. These are the two pins that Grant got. He actually got a Disney World one that looks the same as this one. It has little tickets in it. And then a Haunted Mansion one. Sadly, Haunted Mansion is actually closed this time around. Yeah. Womp womp. It's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. How many more pins do you have at home? Probably like six? Yeah. You have a bunch. Yeah. Right before we left Disney World, he went wild in the pin section. <laughs> he got some really good ones. Hey, look, can I get my uh, ticket? Oh, yeah. chicken sandwich it looks like a monster and what did you get burnt ends grilled cheese oh my gosh that sounds so good i think i need to borrow one of these i know the thing you should have gotten i made a bad choice <laughs> we were both starving we just had dinner so we're feeling good we're feeling like we got our strength back up and i think we're gonna wait well it's up that we were hovering. We're hovering apparently. He just checked his steps and was dismayed that he's only done 9,500 steps we today. 30,000. 30,000 steps was the, the estimation <laughs> apparently. But right now we're about to walk over into Star Wars land which we haven't seen yet and we think it'd be cool to see it at night. We have like a whole plan worked out for tomorrow and the next day concerning Star Wars land. But I'll talk to you about that later. I feel like it's really, really loud in here. on camera, I think, as it does in person. I know, it looks so cool. One of them suits. <laughs> Yeah. 
nice to be back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we just got back to the room. We are both absolutely beat. We only did basically like a half day, but we went on a bunch of rides. We walked all over that place. We ended the night with Indiana Jones and a Coke float. Actually, Grant's nasty, so he got a root beer float. You know how it is. Tomorrow is the real big day, so we wanted to come back and make sure we got as much sleep as possible. We're gonna try to get up super early. I mean, not super early, but it's gonna feel really early because we're trying to get there in time to get passes to get onto Rise of the Resistance, one of the new Star Wars rides. and. It's kind of hard to get these tickets or these boarding passes. It's basically like a virtual ticket. So basically the strategy is, as far as we understand it, is you wanna get into the park before it technically opens at eight and you wanna be ready with your phone out on the app so you can refresh it like a mad person and get a boarding pass because apparently they all go out within minutes of the park opening. So you've got to be on your game, on your phone, as fast as humanly possible and I think there's also a little bit of luck involved. So we're gonna see if we can make it happen tomorrow and if it doesn't happen tomorrow morning, but we're like totally not thinking like that. We are using the power of positive thinking and it's going to happen tomorrow, but you know, if it maybe doesn't, we also have Monday morning, so we'll just see what happens. It looks like Grant is doing some pin surgery over here. Are you triangulating what you wanna do with your pins? Yeah. Oh my gosh, let's open this one. I got a mystery pin pack after we went on It's a Small World. Oh, and Grant got another lanyard. This one's actually really cool. It's definitely cooler than the Star Wars one. Why did we get so many pins? No, no. We're so stupid. You sucked us into this. Truly. There we go. Goodbye. Aloha. They're cute. Okay, so here's the ones I got. To be perfectly honest, I think I would have been happier if I got the Dutch girl or maybe the panda. Ooh, the wind is in my hair this morning. It is about 7.30 and we are booking it to the entrance because we need to get there. We were kind of aiming to leave a little bit earlier than we did, but we woke up so early. And it was so hard to wake up because we didn't go to bed until after midnight because we were too excited to sleep. But I feel like we're gonna make it. I'm feeling very optimistic. How are you feeling? He's the pessimist in this relationship. I'm the optimist. I think we'll probably make it. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> he thinks they tore the ride down already. <laughs> I mean, if anything, there's always tomorrow. True. Sort True. of. Sort of. What did I tell you? Sort of. Okay, pray for us, even though this is in the past, that it won't help. Obviously, we are not the only ones. I am definitely not usually a person that likes to get up early, especially on vacation. I'll get up early, but it needs to be for a reason, and especially not on vacation. But today, we've got a reason, and this is definitely the earliest we've ever been here. We've never shown up before the park actually opens. <sighs> I need to breathe, we've been walking so fast. All my power walking at Orange Theory has not trained me for this day. Oh, it's just a sea of people. Okay, me and Grant split up, and I'm realizing we're probably not gonna get in because the line is so much longer to actually get my ticket scanned. I'm so sad. <laughs> Cancel that. I lost all hope and now I have more hope because we're almost about to get into the entrance. Grant came to find me because I actually picked a shorter line. I think we might get in by the skin of our teeth. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was so stressed out. Is the camera shaking right now? Because I'm like shaking because we were trying to like not run but walk so fast down Main Street to get to a place where not everybody was. Okay, hold on. I'll talk to you in a second. It's really loud.
dress and I feel like my hair is never gonna be the same. My hair is one single huge tangle now, but that ride was so fun. And we only had to wait, what, was it 25 minutes? Yeah, but it was like 15 maybe. Yeah, it was really, really easy. We were kind of worried that uh, we didn't get a fast pass for that one, but it wasn't bad at all. Yeah. I tend to be pretty lucky, just kind of generally. I probably shouldn't say that. That's probably gonna make me She's unlucky. A lucky lady. But. <laughs> Okay, it's been a while, obviously, but we're trying to find like a semi-quiet place. Obviously, we left Disneyland and we came over to California Adventure uh, because as we were walking into the park in Disneyland, when I was like ferociously, <laughs> quickly trying to refresh and close the app over and over and over again to get a boarding pass for Brides of the Resistance, uh, Grant got a fast pass for Guardians of the Galaxy at like 8 a.m. So we immediately left and we came over here and we went on Guardians of the Galaxy. We'd never been on it before and it was super fun. So Haas is the best one of the... Of you think so? Yeah, I think so. I don't the know. The drops on I'm so still like crazy. very nostalgic about Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror is awesome, but those are drops for the best. Yeah, it was really, really fun. We had a lot of fun on that. But back to the fact that we did get a boarding pass. I don't know if I even said it because I was trying to record in the middle of Main Street and everyone was like cheering and stuff. Like the second eight o'clock hit, it was like 8.01, people were like cheering because they got a boarding group. I was stressing out so much and I don't even know why. Like, okay, I'm gonna be real with you. Not a big Star Wars fan. It's not that I don't like it. It's just like, it's not like a big thing to me. But the fact that there was something to get I wanted to get it and I was I had my eye on the prize, I am the prize. both of us really like Grant got that fast pass and I was like no go back we need to get a boarding pass so we did get it I was like basically shaking <laughs> that sounds so lame <laughs> I was just so excited because it was something that obviously everyone wanted everyone was just like parked on their phones yeah. standing on Main Street just standing still of course All completely, it's, it's standing room only yeah completely filled and everyone's just standing still which from everything we've learned because we've done some research you're really not supposed to do that you want to spread out yeah. so you get better service so you can actually get a boarding pass but seriously it seemed like all the boarding passes were gone within like five minutes so we seriously got it by the skin of our teeth it was yeah. a very 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 close call i guess we got in line at security at about like 7 40 yeah. ish and it was really close. It was madhouse. We, you, got, you do we, need to come early if you're gonna come. Yeah. The lines it, to get in to the park. You had to be in the park. And it was we were we were inside the park by three minutes. Yeah, it was like 757 once we crossed over and scanned our tickets, which you have to do that to actually yeah. refresh it and get a boarding pass. So it was a close one, but I'm so glad that we came early. I was getting so disappointed, like we woke up early and got here for nothing well i mean obviously not for nothing because you can get on a lot of the rides a lot faster if you get here really early but like at this point we've yet to find any breakfast but we've been on incredicoaster guardians of the galaxy and so that's it yeah that's it that's two of the three major rides the big ones so i'm happy we're gonna do all three we got and we got a fast pass for the cars one so. oh yeah 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 we just gotta find some food man i know not the, every literally every restaurant's closed yeah. the bakery is closed like dude 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 Dude. Need some sourdough. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go back on the hunt for food, and I really want to get on that big Ferris wheel. I don't know what it's called, but it was only a 15 minute wait, and I was very tempted to do it, but I really need to eat something. I like cannot go without breakfast. Woo! You're not supposed to be this stressed out at Disneyland. <laughs> I'm not stressed anymore, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm really glad we don't have to wait until tomorrow and then wake up early yeah. again. Oh, that was it. But did you see Grant was like, oh no, we're not gonna make it in. I don't think I was recording, but we were standing yeah, in the line. I'm skeptical. We're st oh, as usual, I'm skeptical. Grant is always like, in Sad my, in Sally. My defense, three minutes is pretty close. It is very it close. We cut it very close, but and that's just my because, style. Well, we got in because you. Because you I went to the other line. Because so line. Grant went to like one of the first lines, and they kind of all did look about the same length. But I was like, no, I think we have a better bet because I thought if one of us was in the park, we could get boarding passes for both of us. But he told me that no, we both have to be in to get them. So I ran over further over to try to find a shorter line. And it did end up being shorter, so. Yeah. 
the Leanne Luck strikes again. <laughs> There's gotta be a better name for that. Oh, look at this. There's a lot of like swing type rides. Okay, so the Corn Dog Castle. You trying to get some Corn Dog Castle in ya? Anything, man. Starving Marvin, dude. Starving Marvin. That's something I would do. That is totally That's something you would do. would do. That's a million percent in, something in you would do. The situation, it makes sense. <laughs> and it's very roguish and. That, this is who Grant is on the inside. <laughs> I know. What was that? I'm a Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And I'm really 
really excited. I'm really excited to eat in general right now, but especially for tomorrow at lunch. Grant decided to get the fancy drink. Fancy drink for a fancy man. It's really good. Okay, as you can see, in the disco light of Grant's drink, I got the Monte Cristo and I got the Jambalaya. Jambalaya. You gotta let me try that. I don't think I've ever tried a Monte Cristo. Yeah. Kind of intimidated by them. <laughs> All right, so we're just getting back into Star Wars land and we have a reservation at the cantina in, I don't know, like five minutes. It's yeah. maybe now. Either way, we might have tiki drinks, so we're gonna check it out. exhausted right now we went and we rode Incredicoaster one more time and we got in the very front row and it was so fun we rode it earlier this morning but I guess we were more towards the middle or the back I don't even remember 
but it was so much more fun in the front and it was just very slightly raining. It was like assaulting my face the entire time and we're going so fast. And that is definitely the most fun ride. I don't know if I'm gonna say it's the most fun ride at any Disney park, but it's up there. It's definitely up there for me. I'd never ridden it until today and I absolutely loved it. It was so much fun. But right now I'm about to die. I have this like insane Space Mountain inspired braid that really needs to go. Grant's got all kinds of problems going on over there. I'm hurting, man. It's been a really long day. We didn't see the fireworks, which pretty much killed me inside because if there's anything I love on this world, it is Disney fireworks. But last night they didn't have fireworks. It was just projections. And I was like, maybe they're not doing it here. I don't know, I don't know. But we left. And we saw fireworks as we were leaving and I was so sad not to be watching them, but really my feet pretty much need to be amputated at this point. So, wow, I'm looking great. I need to go. Good night. <laughs> Goodbye, Disneyland. Back. What? He's done with it. I like that, this is a lot of fun. This is it's so much easier than Disney World. Oh my God. In a way. Oh, so much easier. We have, our bodies have not responded well to this trip. I will say yeah. that. <laughs> it's like going through childbirth. Exactly, it's exactly the same. All right, we made it. It's our last day at Disneyland. Okay, despite my better judgment, we just found the very last pin of the trip. No promises. <laughs> but I feel so dumb buying pins. It's such a waste of money. But this one, it just had to happen. I didn't see any Muppet pins the entire time we were here. And finally, I found a Muppet baby pin, and it just needed to happen. I love the Muppets, and I'm so sad there aren't more Muppets in the parks. There we go. Dole Whip and a sweet lumpia. I don't even remember what all it has in it, but it's got a pineapple dipping sauce. Okay, first ride of the day, not the real world. That one does not count. That was Grant's choice this whole time. He's like, I wanna go on the train. So we went on the train, we went to Toontown, we looked around a little bit, but now it's my time to shine on the teacups. One of my all time favorite rides since I was a little kid. My dad used to like torture us on this ride and we loved it and now, to get to torture my husband. <laughs> Like that sounds really silly, but it's just a place that we've always thought was so cool. We've always wanted to go and we finally have an opportunity thanks to Jennifer. I don't know if she'll be watching or not, but I don't know. We're just really excited. You know? <laughs> and hungry. I don't think we're supposed to take any video inside, so we'll have to see if it takes some photos or whatever. I don't know if you care, but we're going in. Yeah. Now we have 
to leave. Yeah. My legs are about to fall off, but I still don't want to leave. <laughs> Smuggler's Run, which is one of the newer uh, Star Wars rides, and we didn't get a fast pass for that. Um, I didn't even talk about that ride. It was really fun. Um, I got to be a gunner, so I was shooting, and Grant was an engineer. He definitely didn't like his job, and I kind of knew that might be like the boring job, so I tried to switch with him, but he wouldn't have it, and so I was the gunner, and then there were two girls that were the pilots, and then there was one other gunner, and <laughs> They were crazy. We were crashing into absolutely everything. It was really funny and they were like screaming the entire time. So it was definitely a fun experience, but someday when we get to ride it again, I somehow want to strategize and make it where we can get to be the pilots because I think that would definitely be a whole lot more fun. I don't know how I got off on this whole tangent. It was an amazing trip overall. We had so much fun. We we're super tired, yes, but it was absolutely worth it. And that lunch, like I'm still not over it. We had such a good time. It was such an awesome experience. And I don't know, it was just a really, really special trip. And we got an ornament from Club 33. And wait, what else did we get? A uh, tiki glass. A tiki glass, a special Club 33 tiki glass. Definitely a trip that we're never gonna forget. Do you have any last words or are you just stressing? No, it was a great trip. Oh, the one other thing that I did not tell you guys about, whenever we were in Star Wars Land the first time, we were walking through and I was getting a little clip of the stormtroopers walking by and one of them came over to me, directly over to me, and I was like recording, I stopped recording, which I am kicking myself for doing that. I wish I had kept recording, but he was like talking to me and I did not know what he was saying at all. Do you remember what he was saying? He was asking me about your phone. But what it was, he, what Your we're data pad. He was saying data pad, and I could not make out what he, what he was saying at all. And I was just like, what? And I was just completely unprepared for that interaction. And I was so embarrassed because I had no idea what to say. It was just so awkward. Okay, I think we're about to get out of the car. I really appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe to keep up with all the new vlogs. I really hope our flight doesn't get delayed anymore. Thanks. I love you. Bye.